I think the university has uh, kind of got a new lease on life, uh, and I don't give myself much credit for that. I actually give Boone Pickens a lot of credit for that. Uh, of course, we, uh, I had been on the Regents for five years. Well, I'd been off for about six months, but I was on for five years. And I knew the funding challenges, uh, and they were, uh, uh, they, were, they were a combination of uh, several factors. Uh, we had actually lost some enrollment over the, the three or four years uh, preceding, uh, and, I, and I have to get some of the blame for that because I was on the Regents. We, uh, the state pressure on its funding continues to uh, uh, accelerate. And uh, we, we had lots of just uh, capital projects that needed to be put in place, but we also had a lot of uh, challenges with faculty compensation and keeping and, re and uh, attracting uh, strong faculty. So I knew we had a, a, a big job ahead of us, and, uh, and it was up to us to solve it, and that's what was the reason for the Branding Success Campaign. We are excited about embarking on a journey that really will take Oklahoma State to heights we never dreamed of. Because today we are going to finally commit to deliver the full land grant promise for the success of our students, our faculty, our research programs, our extension programs, and the entire university. People have asked me how we came up with a billion dollars. and. My answer is I, there wasn't any real rationale other than it sounded like a heck of a lot of money, and, and most people have never done that. And, uh, I, and I thought if we did that, it would really just propel us, I think, in, into a, a new sphere of, of uh, attitude and reputation. Well, the campaign technically began when I was named president, which was in December. But I had been, because I had been on the regents and the law required that a, a former regent has to be off for a year before they can go to work for the university. Now the legislature changed that uh, to uh, provide, it was just six months, which allowed me to take, uh, take office in March. But anyway, it, the, the campaign technically began, was conceived, and, and started in, uh, uh, I think, December 17th, I believe, something like that, of 07. And it was a seven-year campaign for a billion dollars. Five hundred million of it was for scholarships. Uh, two hundred million was for faculty support. Another two hundred million was for uh, uh, facilities, and then a uh, hundred million was for uh, program support. the The goal was reached in uh, uh, on April twenty fourth, two thousand thirteen. We've had over ninety five thousand donors to the Branding Success Campaign, and the important thing about that is that most of those people have not written their last check, uh, but they won't write another check unless they believe the money that they gave did some good. Right. And so now we're into a stewarding stage where we have to really uh, nurture those relationships, keep those donors advised of what's, uh, what's going on, and hopefully uh, make any difference with their, their money. And uh, if we do that, then we've got a pretty much built-in foundation of support for the university for a long, long time. When you think of the, how people spend their leisure money, uh, of course there's travel and, and baubles and a lot of stuff that people do, but, but uh, most, I, I don't know about most, but uh, a great number of people give to athletics and to the arts. And a lot of people who give to one don't care about the other. So. Uh, what, by, by not emphasizing the arts at Oklahoma State enough, we really had not been uh, catering to those people that could be re very interested in that. So that's why we were so keen to build an art museum as quickly as we could. And we, we just got, again, lucky that uh, the, uh, the old post office downtown became available and we could do something immediately instead of waiting and having a huge capital campaign for a, a Fred Jones type art museum. And uh, which we want to do, but at least we were able to get started, and it's been remarkable. The people that have kind of come out of the woodwork that love the arts, and are really inspired by what we're we're trying to do. And and the Performing Arts Center is, uh, is the same way. And we actually have extraordinary uh, departments of art and music at Oklahoma State, and they uh, they have not had the facilities 
to reach their full potential. And uh, one of the things Ann and I want to accomplish before we leave is, uh, is that they have those facilities. We have, uh, we have get, been gaining uh, enrollment pretty dramatically over, over these past few years. Two years ago, we had the largest freshman class in the history of the state. Uh, last year was next to that year, that pre, uh, the preceding year, the largest we had ever had at Oklahoma State. Uh, so Oklahoma needs more college graduates. And what we have to do, we're, get, we're getting them in the front door. We're not getting enough of them across the goal line uh, to receive their degrees. And uh, so we're, we're very intent on, on designing uh, designing a, a plan of, uh, for our students so that they can get their degrees for sure, but also get them more quickly. That was, uh, that was the uh, strategy behind the block tuition that we recently went to. Uh, for next, starting next fall. Oh, you did it last year, and I think they've had a good experience with it. The schools that have that tend to have higher graduation rates than we do. And so that's a big initiative, and I think it's more complicated than just providing a financial incentive. I think you also have to provide a support uh, around each student to uh, help them develop a plan. When the plan starts to go awry, they, they got help. It might be financial. It might be uh, some personal issue they have to deal with. It could be working. Uh, for us to, in my opinion, reach our full potential in this area of the land grant mission, uh, I think we're going to have to have far more needs-based scholarships. So students that uh, that can't afford to go to college will be able to, and and will be able to without uh, taking on crushing debt.